you're welcome to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back to watch my video i really appreciate it. thank you so much and if you're new to this channel if you're just seeing my post for the first time please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time i post a new video so today we'll be drawing a fitted mermaid skirt fitted mermaid skirt with a tail so let's go into the video i'm using a very small fabric so i'm marking out my hip line that's from my waist to my hip so i'm using five inches as my hip line so i'll draw a straight line on that mark i made that's from my wrist to my hip, I use 5 inches. Then I'll take my nail measurement. That's my nail line measurement. From your waist, you measure down to your nail. So I'm using 11 inches here. Yeah. I mark down the 11 inches and I'll use my ruler to rule a straight line across it. Susan. So I'm um, writing it so that you can see this is my hip line and this is my nail line. And my full skirt legs. So now I'm taking my waist measurements plus my darts, which is five inches. So I added one inch for the darts. I waist, I use five inches. I used one inches for the dad. Then the hip measurement. To put your hip measurement, you divide your hip by four and minus one inch. That's for the front part. Divide your hip by four and minus one inch. So I'm connecting it from my waist to the hip. I used the uh, seven inches for the hip. Don't forget to divide your hip by four and minus one inch for the front part of your skirt. So now I'm putting my waist measurement towards my nail. Some people use their just you can mark your round nail or you can use your waist measurement. So towards the nail, I went up by one inches because I want I don't want it to start at the nail. Point. So I wait up by one inch. If I'm drafting my own skirt, I do go up by two or three inches. This is, I'm using one inch because this is a small fabric. So I'm going to impute my waist measurement at that new nail length, which is six. Then I'll connect it from my hip down to the nail. So I'm going to curve my hip because I don't like that sharp edge there. So I want it curvy. So the full skirt length now, the down part, you can divide your hip by, you can times your hip by two and impute it there. If you want it very full, like me, I use my hip times two minus three inches. But on this pattern, I'm using 10 inches because it's a very small pattern and the fabric is not too wide. So I'm using 10 inches. So I curved it from the new nail line down to the full skirt length. So I'm curving the nail because I don't like those uh, sharp edges there. So I'm going to curve it. Yeah. 
so I'll cut out I'm going to impute my dart measurements I'm using two and a half here if you want to impute on your fabric you use your nipple to nipple measurements and I went in by three inches you can use four inches then I go in by half half inch and connect it to the mid So now at the full length, I'm going to go up by one inch. If I'm drafting this on my skirts, I go up by two inches, not one inch. So I'm going up by one inch, then I'll connect it because I don't like that sharp edge. I want this curvy edge at the edge of the skirt. So I'll cut it out. So we are done with our front skirt pattern so let's go to the back pattern so this is the back pattern I went in by three inches and I draw a straight line then that one inch we deducted from the front body you know we took hip measurements divide by four minus one so you go in by one inches too then you rule a straight line so the line at the middle from that tip of the skirt to that little line is the one inches then from that line backward is the three inches so i'm going to now connect from my waist to my hip you can see i've drawn the line my hip my knee line down to the back So I'll connect from my waist to that one inches and my hip line. You can see. This was why we deducted one inches from the front. Then I'll connect it back to my knee line and curve it out. See how I'm curving it covering it towards the line and make sure when you're drafting your back skirt your skirt should be longer the back skirt length should be longer than the front skirt length for this back skirt length i used i i from the full length i now added nine inches so i added nine inches because we are sewing a mermaid skirt with till so if you need that till your skirt should be your back skirt length full length should be longer than the front you can either add 15 depend on how long you want it so i'm connecting now from my phone that's my knee line that's my new knee line down to the nine inches as you can see so I'll connect it from that nine inches to the full length of the skirt with a curve ruler. Hope you get what we we are doing here it's very simple if you concentrate i went in by three i ruled a straight line and i went in by one inch again one inch we deducted from the front and i rule so from that one inch that is where i placed my front skirts the one we've already drafted so i connected from the waist to the hip with a curve if you looked at it then from the hip to the knee again with another curve then down to the nine inches which we left at the down so now i'm cutting it watch how i cut so 
so that's all very very simple so you have this cover the at the both side that's curve from the waist to the hip that to be at the both side as your bum bum so when you're cutting on your fabric don't forget to add your allowances because i didn't add any allowance here so don't forget to add your allowances your your zipper allowance that's the both side you add one one inch then the other side you can add one one inch too don't forget to take your dart measurements at the back so you can just fold it and notch it so that when you're sewing you know where the dots towards the back pattern is if you watch this video up to this place please don't forget to subscribe assist your girl your subscription means a lot to me like share my video and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time i post a video thank you guys so much for always supporting me i really appreciate thank you thank you thank you thank you to all my subscribers i love you guys thank you guys for always tuning in to watch my videos and those people that are just coming across my videos please please subscribe share like turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time i post a new video and you can drop your comments i appreciate thank you so much